Hello, 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 and welcome to V. Sky Speaks, where I give you news, poetry, black history, scandals, vlogs, and so much more. I will be reading Black Ballerinas, My Journey to Our Legacy by Misty Copeland. The book is illustrated by Selena Barnes. I will be reading the first few pages. I won't be reading the entire book at one time. Like many young women growing up, I struggled to find my place and voice in the world. But black was the one label I confidently wore with pride. It was one of the only things that was tangible and made sense in my very chaotic young life. This was true until I discovered ballet at the age of 13. Ballet would provide a natural and strong identity for me. And throughout high school, I was simply known as the ballerina. I entered the the ballet world and was completely immersed in the beauty, blinded by my love and passion, and protected by my teachers who created a bubble for me to exist and to focus solely on training. It was a shock to my system when I joined American Ballet Theater. Four years later, And I was no longer being shielded from the reality that I was a black girl in a very white ballet world. When I became a professional ballet dancer with ABT, that stands for American Ballet Theater. I I just threw that out there in case somebody didn't remember. So we're going to go back over it. When I became a professional ballet dancer with ABT, 20 years ago, my journey of true self-identity began. I spent the first decade of my career alone, the only black woman in a company of 80 plus dancers. I struggled to find my voice and define who I was in this space. I attempted to find others like me. I dug, I read, and I researched, uncovering so many of the black ballerinas who came before me, dancers whose stories have not been told in earnest. So many of these women helped me to understand myself and discover my history. Part of my mission is to bring awareness to contributions of black ballerinas to give a sense of the rich histories of those who may not be documented in ballet history books, yet whose careers and legacies are no less valuable and inspiring. This is in no way a comprehensive list of black ballerinas. This is a list this is a list that is personal to my journey and hopefully a starting point for others to begin to do, to do their own research when discussing black brown black and brown ballerinas i would be remiss if i didn't acknowledge and highlight the real issues of colorism both inside and outside the black community and how it has impacted what is presented on stage there are varying forms of privilege in the in the world. I acknowledge that being biracial and or a lighter skinned is a privilege both in the world and in ballet. The privilege does not extend just to me, but has dictated access and opportunity throughout our history and often not equitably Black dancers are not a monolith, but it is my hope that the success of us will ultimately allow for us, for the success of all of us. In this book, I'm going to share my personal stories about connections to and experiences with these groundbreaking women. Here are intimate snapshots of my discovery and my relationships to these women. I am 
infinitely grateful for their legacies. This is my bow to the to these amazing dancers. I do want to apologize for some of my reading, y'all, because I do need some new glasses. And I have this photo of Mr. Copeland in cartoon image because all the other ladies are in cartoon image. So I went and got a cartoon image of her off of Pinterest so she can be in cartoon image as well as the other ladies in the book because they are all in cartoon image. This is video one of me reading Black Ballerinas My Journey to Our Legacy by Misty Copeland. I would like to thank you for watching and if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe.